guys, welcome to Masterpiece UK's first podcast. Can I get some noise? Woo-hoo! So today guys, our theme of the month is love and we're going to talk more into love. But first of all, we need to introduce ourselves. So guys... My name is Chloe. Yeah. You might not know me. Yeah. But if you do, yeah. you know I'm the social media guru. <laughs> Hi, world, because it's going to reach Ooh. the entire planet. Amen. 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 Um, my name is Mears, and I'm part of the Masterpiece team. I am the mentorship uh, coordinator, and I really just try to help my best in terms of just giving the support to everyone that reaches out to us. And in Jesus' name, this will be a podcast. I'll give you the knowledge, the courage, and just Amen. wisdom for you to go and do amazing in Christ. Amen. Amen. Hey, guys. Um, hello to whoever you're listening from. Um, my name is Marlies, and I'm part of the social media marketing team at Masterpiece. Um, and I write the blogs every month on the page. So if you've read any of them, then I wrote, I wrote them. If you haven't read them, then head to our website, like right now, whilst you're listening. Right head now. To our, head to our website and you'll find all the blog posts. So hi guys, my name is Esther. I'm the founder of Masterpiece UK. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of background about what Masterpiece is and who we are. So we're an organization that aims to inspire, encourage, and motivate all individuals of every age, every background, every gender, to just live a life that pleases God and just to remind you that you are God's masterpiece whatever season you're going through and whatever life's just throwing at you right now. But if you want more information about who we are, head over to our website. It is www.masterpieceuk.com and you can find out all about us. Um, There's so much on there. We can pray with you. There is, like Mer said, there is um, support there for you. There's obviously blog posts, like Marley said. And, yeah, there's just everything about us is on there. And if you do love what we do, you're free to donate as well. Um, We do appreciate you all. But today we're going to talk about the theme of the month, which is love. 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 All things God's love. love. So for the month of February, we we have been looking at what God's love means to us. Um, As we know, February is nationally known as the month of love because of Valentine's. But we often just forget Mm. that God's love is actually the best love that's out there and he loved us first that's That's right right. let's let's not forget that he actually loved us first so we're just going to share what God's love means to each of us yeah Mm -hmm. and our favorite bible stories of God's love so Mm. I personally believe that the bible is technically like God's love story to Mm. us yeah if you think about it like he's every single chapter every single part he just proves how much he loves us Mm. like from winning battles from back in the day to just miracles to just the people and for example like I guess I'll share mine first um my favorite example is Ruth actually because it shows God's love through friendship Wow. And I, um, I studied Ruth quite a few times, and recently I did again. And it just reminded me of the way Ruth was loyal to Naomi is mm. the way that God's actually loyal to us. Yeah. Um, if we look at Ruth chapter 1, verse 16 to 17. We love it. This is where Ruth basically says to Naomi, like, Naomi's trying to tell Ruth, don't come with me, go back to your home, you know. I'm going to go back to my land. If you don't know about the story, mm. so Naomi is Ruth's mother-in-law mm. and Naomi's sons have died, which means mm. that Ruth is a widow now. Mm. So she's with her mother-in-law, her partner's died and her mother-in-law's telling her, go home. And I guess if you think about it in today's day and age, if I lost my husband and I'm with my mother-in-law, she's telling me, go home. I'm not going to lie, I probably will. I'd mm-hmm. be like the other um, the other daughter-in-law and just run home. Mm. But Ruth said to her, do you know what? Wherever you go, I'll go. Yeah. Um, whoever you worship, I'll worship. Mm. I'll worship your, um, your God that you believe in. And that's obviously the God, mm. Yahweh. Mm-hmm. So that just shows me that wherever we go, God is always with us. Amen. And Amen. whatever we do, God won't leave us. Amen. And 
you know, R- Ruth makes a promise and she's like, God will punish me if I leave you, if, if I let anything come between us mm. apart from death. Mm. Wow. Which I think is such a powerful promise. Like, yeah. you're basically saying, I can't change my mind about yeah. this. This is permanent. So mm. she goes off with Naomi and the rest is history. So that's my favourite, that. mm. one of my favourite love stories. I really like that. Well done. To be honest, I don't think I introduced myself well, guys. Guys, my name is Florence, but most people call me Flo. I am part of the social media marketing team. But yeah, I was just playing before. That's not... That, that was a real... Um, um, a message of God's love in the Bible that um, stands out to me, and just love in the Bible, is I'd say when Jesus um, was... You know, back in those days, if you are an adulterer or a prostitute, they stone you. Yeah. And um, there's a message in a parable in the Bible, or no, it's actually real life what happened. And then a woman was caught, and then usually they would stone her. And then Jesus was like, Which one of you um, has never committed a sin? Then you should cast the first stone. Obviously, everyone went home because <laughs> <laughs> everyone's a sinner. So it makes me think of God's love because. He should. He could be like, you're not worthy. You're not holy. Why are mm. you even here? Like you're an adulterer. He could. He could be the one thrown. But he risked himself to stand up there. He could have been stoned himself, but he risked himself, stood up there, and was like, cast the first stone. They all could have just stoned both of them right there. But yeah. he literally risked himself, and that's so much love. And he was like, cast the first stone, which is what people don't do nowadays. You know, mm. actually stand up for what is right and what they love and God loves each of us and it just shows God's love and how powerful it is because he was just like exactly none of you can and he loved her even at her worst you know and he yeah. was just like to her don't sin again and that just shows how beautiful and pure God's love is and Amen. Yeah. yeah man Amen. he's our defender at all, all, all times Amen. Um, my favorite story actually I have two mm. is Job and oh, David yeah. because mm. everyone knows Job from being a uh, rich guy to mm. going through the maddest things, losing his child, losing his family, losing his riches, to just depend on the Lord. And this is a message to everyone that you feel like if you, if you lost something and you cannot get yourself back up, mm. God is there for you. Yeah. Even though you may not see it, you'll take time, but God's love is there mm. because when you actually deep everything that's happening in this world and when you focus on the history of Job, the things that he went through, he could have just easily gave up and be like, you know, just kill me now or I don't want to live anymore. But God still sustained him and gave him the strength mm. to go mm. and give all the things back to him plus. And even when you look at David through everything that he did, you know, through adultery, through just falling back and doing mm. the worst things, murderer he was a murderer and doing so many things that in our society is just unacceptable mm. but god still decided to just be like turn this page mm. start a new one because his love is just unconditional and even when mm. you think about jesus death on the cross god he didn't need to do mm. none of that yeah. okay mm. he could just be like okay this law did their bit adam and eve so now you can't just do your life mm. but the fact that he felt the need to sacrifice his only son which I don't think in this society will, no one will sacrifice mm. their own son for no one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> in this society, to be like, you know, they deserve a second chance. They deserve to, they deserve to go ahead and do what they want to do. Mm. And even when we fall into sin, he still chooses to look above all those things because he knows our potential and mm. what we're capable of doing to bring glory to him. Amen. So, guys, please. Stay strong, because God's love is amazing. Yeah, Amen. you're right. Following on from that, I read something somewhere. I actually don't remember where, but I wrote mm. it down. Sorry, guys. But it was, I think it was one of my devotions, but mm. I just want to read it to you guys, because it goes off what Mia just said. But it says, For years we've centred on the central truth, that God's love is more tender than a mother's, more faithful than a brother's, and more intimate than a lover's. Jesus overlooked all of our indifference, and pride and willingly offered up his life he nailed the weight of our sin to its final death on the cross and it just made me realize like love is such a like it's such a strong word and it's just that whole like statement there just made me realize that someone could like push us or even punch us now and we'll be like oh i don't love them anymore but like with jesus it's like we're indifferent literally every single second every single day 
and we've got pride, like we're just humans, that's who we are. Mm-hmm. But it's like he still loved us. Even when those people were throwing things at him, punching him, spinning on him, mm-hmm. he was still like, I'm gonna die for you. And I just mm-hmm. think that's just so amazing. Like mm-hmm. it's just so powerful. It's Literally. Love, isn't it? Unconditional. Yeah. Love. Regardless of what whatever we do. I think that's so beautiful though. The mm-hmm. fact that like say for instance like you get unconditional to university. Everyone's oh like, God. Yes. like, what? An unconditional? You Even if I fail, yeah. I will get in. Yeah. Like, that kind of you, thing. No matter yeah. what. And I think that's God's love, you know? It's unconditional. Like, even if you fail, you will make it to heaven if you repent with a pure heart, you yeah. know? And I think that's mm-hmm. just so beautiful that he, like, that, that, I don't think people are deep in that <laughs> love. Like, I wish I could explain it more in words, but, like, yeah. that's so powerful it's that so powerful. if I fail, if I fall, if I don't think I'm worthy enough, you still love me, and there's a yeah. chance that, like, wow, mm. God's love is even giving me goosebumps, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> wow. No, but it's true. Like, sometimes I think about it, like, how he was on the cross, mm. and he still said, forgive them. And mm. like sometimes so when you're walking day to day yeah. and someone's just annoyed you, just mm-hmm. thinking, oh, if only like this could happen. Yeah, or I mean, yeah. you don't wish bad, but you're just like, oh, if they ask me for this, I'm not doing yeah, it. Yeah. Or if they do this, I'm not going to listen. Yeah. I'm just going to air them. Next time yeah. I should have said this. I should have said that. Yeah. But when he was on the cross, he didn't do any of that. He could have just been like, do you know what? Forget you guys. I told you guys you could be saved through it's me, so but true, you don't want it. Yeah, so I'm going to go do. home. It's true. But he said, you know what? They don't understand right now. Mm. So let me just continue showing them Mm. what it means to be God's son. Mm. Because he was carrying heavy weight Mm. of like, this is God's son. He could have been God's petty son. like, But he wasn't. (laughs) So I just think that's just the most beautiful thing. I mean, we can't talk about love and not talk about First Corinthians, so... Yes! Love is just... Do you know what it is? Everyone always says, oh, yeah, I know this verse, but there's actually... <laughs> you don't know it, because are you patient? <laughs> are you kind? <laughs> yeah. Wow. A lot of people are jealous and proud. It's so true. So, take so I'm just going to read, um, not the whole chapter, but just the verses that I like. <laughs> are we allowed to do that as Christians? <laughs> well, that's between you and God. <laughs> so, First Corinthians 13, verse 4, um, explains what love is. So it says, love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoice whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Mm. Now, when I read that, yeah, mm. you know, sometimes you read something loads of times, so you don't actually take in what it says. Yeah. I'd never actually took in the fact that... <laughs> Let's just remind ourselves, it says it keeps no record of being wronged. And I think that's just so powerful. Like, a lot of, like if you ask me now, oh, this person, how many times have they wronged you? I can probably give you a list. Yeah, a list. But it's love so doesn't true. do that. <laughs> love yeah. doesn't keep no record. Yeah. Like, imagine you pray to God and he's like, well, you said if I did this for you last time, you'll oh, never do this again. Yes. We've all been there. We've yeah. all said, God, just do this yeah. one thing for me. I, I, I promise you. you. Yeah. I'm preaching, I'm preaching. <laughs> and we don't do it. So I think we just need to remind ourselves sometimes when we're being petty, when we're being, when we're holding on to things, remind ourselves, do you know what? It's not in my hands. Mm-hmm. It's in God's. Mm-hmm. And if you really want God to take control, mm. you have to let go. So if you really say if you're really saying Jesus take the will Jesus take the will but you're still holding on to it, yeah. how's he gonna oh. take the will? No, it's true. You can't like <laughs> you can't. So I think I feel like we need to just remind ourselves First mm-hmm. Corinthians thirteen four, like anytime you find yourself feeling angry or feeling mm-hmm. wronged, just read the verse again and mm-hmm. just ask yourself. Am I am I really showing love right now? Mm. Do you know I just had a thought here? Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But in this Bible verse, right? You know how it says love never fails. Love is this. It starts with love and stuff. Mm. If you replace love with God, surely because God is love, right? Yeah. So yes. it means like God never <gasps> fails. Yes. God never does. Oh my God. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, that is so love. true. God, God is kind. Like, he so does not true. keep any oh records. Oh my God. Like, no, I really like, like that. Revelation. Whoa, guys. <gasps> no, stop it. No, <laughs> you act- No, wow. that's sick. Because if you read the message version, actually, wow. if I replace love with God, God never gives up. God cares more for others than for itself. Wow. God doesn't want what it what it doesn't have. Wow. 
God doesn't strut. God mm. doesn't have a swelled head. God doesn't force himself on others. Like, he, he doesn't. doesn't. It's wow. like, if you want to serve me, God serve isn't me. always me first. Wow. God doesn't fly off the handle. God doesn't keep score of oh. sins of others. God doesn't revel when others grovel. God takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. Wow. Yeah. God puts up with anything. Trust God always, but yeah, trust him and him always. Yeah. God always looks for the best. God never looks back, but keeps going wow. to the end. Wow. And God <laughs> never dies. And he never does. He is. Oh my God, that is so. I love that actually. The Bible just. That is. I said you just be getting (laughs) revelations. That is a really good way to see actually. Yeah, and like even when you go down to Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Yeah. It says three things will last forever. Mm. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And God is love. God is so wow. he's he's greater than everything. Wow, wow, wow. In the end. Mm. So that, that's actually beautiful. God is love. Wow. So have you guys got any testimonies or anything you'd like to share of like a time where you really saw God's love in your life or something? Mm. Could be recent, <laughs> could be years ago. I don't know. <laughs> I'd say in university... Mm-hmm. We, I think um, starting third year, third. I think by the time you get to third year, uni as a whole is just long. If you mm. can relate, you can relate. And I think when I started third year, I don't know, it's funny because third year is the most important year, but I was just drained by that point. And I just said to God, like, please, we're going to do this together and we're going to get it first. I sat in the library that day, wrote it down, and I said, by the grace. And I think God's love really showed because even when I didn't want to do anything, he was my strength like he made me go to the library it wasn't me whatsoever when people like how did i even get first it's not me whatsoever it's by god's love god's might and god's power so i think he really showed his love in that sense because he could have let me graduate with anything but he was like you're my child you're gonna get this because you put your mind to it you know and god really because he loves us all things really are possible and it's because you put him first as well you know seek seek him first and exactly Exactly. all things will so you definitely have to put him first and i think his love will shine like he won't he loves us always regardless but if you don't put him first in a situation Mm. what are you really doing you know you can't i was gonna go off that though because my testimony is i didn't put god first i didn't Mm. Like, I was just... It was in uni, to be honest, second year, I'd say. I just felt like I was losing everything, and I just felt like I didn't love God anymore. I was like, you know, you get to that like, God, if you love me, why is this all happening? Mm. But obviously, I wasn't a mature Christian, because mm. if I was, then I would have known, like, obviously, in this world, we're going to have trials and tribulations. Mm. It's yeah. just, obviously, how you go about it. Yeah. And I obviously didn't go about it in the right way. So I just didn't love God, didn't love myself, didn't love anybody. <laughs> dark place guys um but thank you for the love of god like he still loved me regardless he didn't leave me he Mm. never forsaken me and Mm. i just like i felt like his love every day even though i didn't feel it and then eventually i was just like this is why i started masterpiece because somehow i was just tweeting godly stuff even though i wasn't acting godly i didn't feel godly at all but i was just tweeting it and it was helping people and i just thought why, how is God using somebody like me to Mm. reach out to other people? And I just felt like his love. And I was just like, I really want to show his love to other people. Mm. Like, regardless if you don't feel like a masterpiece today, you are who God says you are, full stop. And that's on period. Period. Because he created you. So how are you going to go tell him? Let's think of a designer. How are you going to go tell Michael Kors your bag's ugly? He don't care. He's made that already. People paid for it already. He's like how he sent Jesus. Jesus already paid the price for you. So God doesn't care what you're saying about yourself. He knows what he's saying about you. And that's all that matters. Honestly, that's that's beautiful, man. Like, I think that's what's lacking in our generation. People don't know God's love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't people don't know how much God loves them. I think if you know how much God love God loves you, like it will shock you. Like so much things will fall into place that you wouldn't look in the mirror and think, ew, what am I looking at? You wouldn't look in the mirror and be like, I don't like this above. God's love, like he made you in his image. Like he loves you. Like it's crazy. Like so Mm -hmm. you wouldn't like let that guy treat you like rubbish or that girl treat you like rubbish because God's love. Do you know who I am? You know, I'm a daughter of a king. Like once you know God's love and who you are as his daughter, so many things in your life will start to fall into place differently because you'll put yourself at a regardless on another level, you know. Not cocky wise, but you know And I think people just like to limit God to um, their human experiences, if yeah. that makes sense. Mm. Like, oh, my mom never loved me, it's so true. how can God love me? It's yeah. true. Like, my mom's supposed to love me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she yeah. birthed you, but he, like, God's the one that actually made you. Yeah. So, yeah. 
or both your parents, your entire family don't have to love you. If you actually think about it, mm. they don't. They've they've just been blessed to have you, yeah. but they didn't accept the blessing. Same way mm. Jesus was given as a blessing to Israel, mm. but they didn't love him. If that Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah. So I think we need to stop putting God in a box because that's just not, like, yeah. he's beyond the box. Mm. Yeah, How can you true. put the creator in the box? Wow. You can't do that. Yeah. No, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right, what, what are you doing? Because <laughs> if you limit God, you can't expect expect now to have bigger things. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. You have to let God flow and let God do what He does best, yeah. and that's just the impossible. You know, He does He moves in a way that you won't even expect. Mm. You know, so I just think that's beautiful. Right. Um, Testimony. Actually, before I even get into that, one thing that you said about. Um, you questioning God, why, why, why? Yeah. One thing I had to learn is that we, in a way, need to stop asking God why and Definitely. just ask Him, just actually just go and just speak to Him and say, What is the reason behind this? Yeah, and what are you teaching me? Yeah, yeah, because when you question it, it's like you're doubting what God can do mm-hmm, for you. Mm-hmm. And one thing I actually realized is that, yes, you may want a car. But God's timing is the best. And yeah. you, we just start wondering, why God, why? Everyone has a car, everyone has a job, and I'm still in the same place, no job. And you just start doubting yourself. Mm. And you, you actually just start questioning God, why? But God is not a God of doubt. Mm. If you have faith, faith without works is dead. You just dwelling on your worries and what everyone thinks about you is not going to take you anywhere. So just asking God, what is the reason? Mm-hmm. What you want to do through and for me? God will do all the things that he's going to do because he has a plan for mm. you. Yes, that car didn't come now, mm. but a bigger car will come later at a bigger time. Because he knows if you get that car now, you're going to wreck it. Mm. Your insurance is going to get high and you're going to be in trouble. And then you're going to mm. be asking God for money and then you're going to lose your money. And it's just <laughs> money management is going to yeah, be awful. It's true. So you being in a place where actually God wants you to be stable will be the best thing. But in terms of my testimony, it's just wrong. Me? Sorry, quick one mm-hmm. though. Going off what you just said, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw Mike Todd's new um sermon, and yeah. it was so powerful because he was talking about how like he was gonna give this man a hundred dollars, yeah, all in ones. Mm-hmm. And obviously, when we see that, we're like, "Whoa, that's a lot of money!" Yeah. But he was like, "Well, but if God had behind him less notes, but it was like five hundred dollars, so it was yeah. like one hundred. Yeah, in the human eye, would be like, that doesn't look a lot. So why are you giving that to me? Yeah, yeah. but it, it's worth more." But yeah. we don't know that. Yeah. And it's like, we should just, just trust God, like he said, mm. to know that he's going to give us better than we think mm. and more mm. than what we think, more than what yeah. the eye sees. Yeah. It'll be worth a lot more. But yeah, it was so powerful. You guys yeah. should go check it out because I was just like, wow, yeah. that is wow. amazing. So but yeah, true. so true, man. Sorry, your mm. testimony. Share it, sis. Sorry. Literally, I have so many, but this one is something that really touched me because even me at university, I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if I told you guys, but I failed two modules in my mm. first year because I was just in a really bad place. And with that, when you fail two modules, even one, you have to repeat the whole year again. Mm-hmm. And then, not even being born in this country, season finance was coming to me. I think I told you mm-hmm. this story, mm-hmm. Maurice. And they didn't want to pay the money. And mm-hmm. it came to a point where I only started uni in November. And I was like, God, this cannot happen. Because even season finance, they were just like, Oh, once we receive your evidence, that's when we'll process your mm-hmm. thing. And from when they receive the evidence, I will not be able to meet the deadline, which was in October. And I was just like, God, th- you're a God of miracles. Mm-hmm. What says in your word, I will trust it. And I was just I was just starting to feel so discouraged because I remember my family and my friends would be like, Miss, when you're going back to uni? And I was like, I'm going back soon, don't worry. <laughs> but I never told them what was happening. Only my mom. My mom was like, Miss, I think you should just just give it a go and just stay home and just look for a job. And I didn't know what to do, but I had so much faith that mm. I was going to do something. I was going to be a testimony. And God took me into this fasting period where I was able to just seeking more than ever mm. because I could just easily slack and be like, oh my gosh, everyone started uni. There's no way. Mm. Yeah. You know, and everyone was mm. like, Miss, you need to catch up. You need to catch up. It's getting harder. Mm. And I was just like, no. Okay. God, mm. please. And can you guys believe on the same day, on the day of the deadline, student finance, my uni Amazing. said yes. And they didn't even pay for it. So imagine the 25th, 
it was their month on the 30th student fund is paid for my thing and my uni was like uh, until we get the payment you cannot enroll they were asking me to pay three thousand pound deposit so i can start Wow. Please, but I don't have the money. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So literally, guys, this is a testimony to just let you guys know, God is love. Because God even in love. that period when I was fasting, there were times I was slacking. I wanted to eat so bad, mm. but <laughs> God was giving me the strength to yeah. do so, yeah. and He was showing me love, and He yeah. was giving me the courage to do so. So don't. You did so well. Literally, yeah. I remember you. We even had like a breakfast, a team breakfast day. And you were like, "No, I'm not yeah. eating." You yeah. done God, so well. You did so well. Thank you, guys. But literally, this is a a pure testimony of yeah. how God it is. So don't let you know your situation. I have to emphasize on this because yeah. you never know who's mm. going through this situation. If if you're unemployed, if your grades are going down, mm. just show love to God I was by say that. Mm. praying, worshiping, putting yeah. Him first. Even when you're going in your yeah. way, just listen to worship music and put Him first in all the things you do. So true. And you're gonna see Him replaying your life. Yeah, please, definitely. please, please. This one is too messed up. Mm, yeah. That first, just yeah. made me had a I had a thought. Did you have? A, did yeah, you go first. I just mm. want to say like that made me think like sometimes God as well, He strips away stuff that take more importance from Him. Like I'm not saying university was at that time, yeah. but see how you drew you drew closer to Him in that t- period because you were seeking Him more. You kind of mm. stripped back and you were seeking Him more. Sometimes God actually takes away what we think is so important. Yeah, because you can't serve two gods. Maybe at that time you would have served university over Him. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You can't serve two gods. It's impossible. Like you have to serve god and then he probably that moment happens so you mm. can draw close to him because mm. now look at it as a testimony you know mm. of god's love is a testament that mm. you're here today you're in university because sometimes if you just if you just went to university in september normal 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 we wouldn't see how powerful he actually is sometimes mm. he just shows himself in situations to be like i am god you know i mm. am the i am like watch how i'm gonna do this you know mm. yeah but, definitely like we've read here he is a god of love however we need to also show that back to him because yeah. I, if I had a son or a daughter and I'm I'm loving them, loving them, loving them, eventually I'm just going to be like, if they ask me for something but they've never spent time with me, they've never done anything, I'll be like, why are you asking me? Like, yeah, you? I'll give it to you when I see what you, yeah. like, what you're going to do. Like, yeah. 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 I'm not just going to give it to you because you asked. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely just spend time with him. And just remember, like, if you're going through trials and tribulations now, God's still got you. He's still there. He's just, just remember Job. Yeah, remember Job. Remember that he just wants you to remember that he is God and he will come through for you. And it isn't the end. Like he wants you to have a testimony at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Any words of encouragement, guys? For anybody who doesn't feel loved, anybody who doesn't feel God's love. I think reading. I think God's word would help because no matter where you start in the Bible, you mm. will see God's love. Yeah. at some point so yeah. pray pray about uh where you should start reading and then whatever lays in your heart whatever you read look out for god's love and you will see it yeah. and I guarantee you will see it whatever wherever you start yeah mm. it's true i'll definitely say as well a be surrounded by people that love mm. christ because even when you don't feel like it they can actually mm. be holding you accountable for you to just do better mm. and I'll definitely say, even if you have the time, like we have the time to pull our earphones in and listen to Patricia Bry and all those videos, mm. we can also have the time to put him first by mm. listening to worship music. So even when you're not feeling encouraged, instead of thinking of, you know, secular music, or even things of the world, just mm. put him first. It doesn't need to be something mm. for one hour. You can just yeah. listen to 10, 15 it's minutes. True. Yeah. It's and true. It'll be good. It's the effort. It definitely mm. is the effort. I think one thing that helps me i think sometimes you need to just think of god like someone that's actually there i think some people find it hard to know god's love because they think oh we don't see him this and that Mm. but the fact you wake up each morning is just a testament to his love like it's crazy like god really is love and god really is love and i think as well just the same way you've probably had a partner in your life, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, the same way when you're in the beginning of that relationship, it's also interesting getting to know them. Like, use that and use it in getting to know God. Like, read his word, you know, talk to him. Like, you will hear back from him. Like, when you start hearing it, you will realise that you enjoy his company, being in his, in his presence. Well, you will enjoy it. Like, it's like no other. Like, when you're in a new relationship and you're just glowing, imagine God's glow, because that's just a mere Ooh. human being like you. So imagine Ooh. the glow God can mm, give you. Just geez. talking to him daily. 
daily just getting to know him reading his word like honestly it will change your life and it's not even for his benefit he already loves us <laughs> reading his words <laughs> not so help true. him it's not gonna help him do anything more do you know what i mean but it's gonna help us like your it's life so will true. literally okay. change just remember I said it, your life will change. Get to know him, spend time with him, and your life will really change. And just know Amen. God loves you. Like, no one can tell you different when you know God loves you. Like, literally, you are God's child, and he chose you to be here where you are right now in the season you are for mm. a reason. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we're going to close in a prayer. So Mies is going to lead the prayer for us. Okay, cool. So... Father God, we thank you for your presence today. I pray that in Jesus' name, the Holy Spirit will use us to touch uh, to touch other people, not only <clears throat> in the UK, but around the globe. Mm -hmm. And I pray that you give them the strength that they need in order to be used for your glory. Amen. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness shall be added to you. Please, I pray in Jesus' name that even when you're not feeling that you can do anything, God will give you the strength and the wisdom to go and seek him and put him first. I pray that any trial or tribulation that comes your way, that you will just put him first. That the first thing that you it comes to your mind is to put him first. I pray that God's grace and God's wisdom is enough to make you remind that God is love, like he says in the book of John. I pray that regardless of what you're going through, that you know that God is with you Amen. because Jesus' Jesus' death on the cross is enough. I pray that even when you think, just because you went down and you fell into temptation or sin, regardless, that God's love is enough because he sacrificed his only son for you. Amen. And I pray that you have a blessed week regardless of what happens that you keep strong and you always recognize that God is there for you 24-7 so tap into his presence at all time so you can sense his love Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. So guys that's it from us our first podcast Woo. we hope you've enjoyed it yes. make sure you follow us on social media yes, um, we would love to be connected with you guys and join the Masterpiece family Amen. but that's it yeah. from us Join us next month for our next theme of the month. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.